working with that show in a space that you know you're going to have you know, 40 people in here um, and a very close space. I've never done it in this small a space and and where we have audiences on two sides. Uh, so that really excited me as well. The uh, the power of this piece in an intimate setting, the intensity and intimacy that we're going to gain from this. As two spent swimmers that do cling together and choke their arms. Because we were two weeks from opening and we were, we were moving along. There was no sense. I had no sense that we were not going to open. It felt like one day we were here and the next day we were done. Walking up to the building, that rehearsal, and this feels weird. There was like this weird energy in the air. I was pretty much just counting down the days at that point when we got that email. Probably the hardest part and the most frustrating part is having something canceled right before you go to Tech Week. So I actually hadn't heard anything from Peter until he sent out that first email that was basically like, hey, we're planning on making this into a movie. Is anybody interested? Let me know. How in the hell are we going to learn, rehearse, and shoot a Shakespeare piece out of order <laughs> in the middle of a, the summer uh, in, a, in a tent during a pandemic? When the witches actually met with Peter for the first time, it was official and I was just so beyond grateful. God, I was ecstatic. I was just ready to get the script and to start. We needed some kind of controlled space. We couldn't shoot it all in the woods. The black box was a wonderful solution to a, a kind of a neutral space that given whatever pieces we put in that space, we knew where we were at. And that's another just incidental side point between film and theater. You're going to have like a something that's concrete that you're going to be able to look at again and again and again and review over and over, whereas on the stage it's, a, you know, you're there and you get to see it or you don't and it's gone. It was a lot of work. Um, going between this rehearsal film process weird thing that we did. It doesn't matter what you do, you're gonna miss the other the other actors, the other people working on this and the crew. It's bittersweet, you know, it's sad, but at the same time it's like, okay, well, what's next? But I was also super excited because this was starting in post-production where you're actually getting the film put together and getting closer to actually seeing it and seeing all our hard work. You look back and say, wow, we actually did this in the midst of everything that was going on in the world, you know? I mean, just that accomplishment of, 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 of doing when things were being shut down, you know, theaters were being shut down, you know, that you look back and said, wow, we did it. Mm -hmm.